Hi guys, Master Indigo here, and welcome back to Payday 3 video. Today we are talking about stealth and how it has changed from Payday 2. So let's start with the crew AI. They are useless just like they were in Payday 2. They don't really do anything, they just sit or stand around and watch as you suffer. The detection system has been greatly changed, there is basically no detection risk, any gun, any armor, the spotting rate is the same. Some people might like this, some people might hate it, but this is how it is. It should reduce restarting since stealth builds can also be played fine on loud, so if you do go loud, you really have a build you can survive on. RNG seeds, so every randomization going on will instead say the same on restart. So if you make a mistake, it's going to be possible to learn from your mistakes. So if you restart, the cameras will be in the same places, the guards will be on similar routes and so on. So for beginners, this is going to be much more tolerable than just having all new RNG every time. Casing mode has also been greatly expanded on, so if you're new to the Payday franchise, casing mode is when you don't have your mask you on your face and you can roam around the place and make notes of everything, basically. You can't jump in casing mode or kill anyone. Otherwise, you can do pretty much anything. Mark guards, civilians, cameras, you areas. can run, you can crouch, you can pick up items. You can close doors, yeah, that's the first exciting thing for many Payday players, you can actually close doors behind you. You can interact with hackable PCs, electrical boxes, you name it. When you want to do something a little bit more violent, you will need the mask up. No taking off your mask later on either, so think carefully. If you want to take a guard out, you need to have your mask. Controlling civilians is going to be easier. You have unlimited cable ties, when you shout at the civilians to stay down, from what I've heard, they actually listen to you and get down instead of you needing to shout like 5 times. Civilians can be moved around the map better than before, but don't kill the civilians, you can lose up to 70% of your heist payouts. You can dominate guards, no jokers in this game. You can also take guards out without weapons in a silent takedown animation from behind. Or you can shoot them with silenced weapons just like Pagers are back, 4 on normal and hard difficulty, 3 on very hard and 2 on overkill. So this is already different. If you miss a Pager, it counts as 2 answers, no instant alarms, unless you are out of answers. Body bags are gone, instead you can carry the bodies, throw them on your shoulders, so you can move as many as you want, and you can answer pages while you are carrying that body. Maps are divided to areas similar to Hitman games. There's public, private and secure areas. In public areas you can basically do anything that's really not suspicious. You can get as close to a guard as you want, run around the lobby like you're a racing car. It's fine, nothing's too crazy for America. Private areas, you are not really allowed to be there. If you are however spotted there, God will come up to you and escort you back to a public area. So no instant alarms here. You can do this multiple times, not, sh not sure if the number of tries is limited, but at least two times. And lastly, secure areas. You absolutely cannot be seen here. If you are spotted here, in casing mode, you will be arrested, put on cuffs, or if you already have your mask, on your face and your gun out, you will be shot. Lockpicking has a mini game like two to four successes to open, and think like a Dead by Daylight skill check. It's similar to that. There are skills that allow you to open doors with only one success. Lockpicking deposit boxes seems to be back. You can see uh, F to open. Not not sure about the animation if it's going to be similar to doors. Opening saves has a mini game. So it's going to be a little bit more interesting than just pressing the interact key down. Key guards hang on belts and you can actually snag those key guards. So just walk behind a guard and do this. So you will not need to kill the guard in order to get their key guard. There's different kind of key guards. We 
know there's this blue key guards, they open a blue door, red key guard open a red door, and so on. Not every door can be opened. You can use throwing knives to lure guards, you can lure guards with a speaker, or just run around in secure areas and that makes noise, and guard will come and investigate. If you destroy a camera, guard doesn't go straight searching for it, but if they do see it broken, they will sound the alarm. Titan cameras are back on higher difficulties, and this time around they move and obviously cannot be destroyed. Uh, if a camera spots you, it's not instantly game over or loud. Instead, guards will enter a searching mode and look for anything sp suspicious. On higher difficulties, there's also the lead guard who is always in searching mode, looking for anything suspicious, so be on the lookout for those. And this time around, your phone has really tons of capabilities. You use it for pretty much everything electrical. You can loop cameras, which by the way is permanent this time around. I think you can choose two cameras to loop. And there's equipment tools you use with your phone. By default you start with two micro cameras. You can s see them with on your phone. You can stick them on anything, a wall even guard, and when the guard walks around, you can use your phone to watch said camera. There's also five concussive sound mines, you can stick them anywhere, activate them to stun cops or civilians nearby, and if you place multiple before using them, they all go off. ACM tremors are back, unlike Payday 2, it doesn't really turn off cameras or pages, it just slows them down and stacks with every other ECM jammer active. So if everybody uses the ECM jammers at the same time, it's a much bigger impact. And there's also a motion detector. It marks up to 15 enemies or civilians in a 3 meter radius. So it's a little bit different than something like Trip Mines in Payday 2 or the skills that allows you to mark everyone through the walls. But it's a small radius, so you are going to need more of these to make a big impact. Anyways, that's basically everything in stealth. I'm sure there are some other parts we are going to be seeing in the future. You can see something I didn't mention in the gameplay in the background, but that's basically it. Which thing are you most excited about in Payday 3's Stealth? Some things are different, some things are similar, but what's your opinion? Tell me in the comments down below. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'll see you later. Master Indigo, signing out.